the view from our room in Brisbane. Nikki and I have just arrived and boy does it feel good <laughs> to put our stuff down, take our shoes off. And we've been traveling for over 31 hours. This is the bedroom. We're staring at the Marathon, uh, I guess apartment suites in Brisbane, downtown Brisbane. Hi. I have not even gotten dressed from the flight yet, so no judging. You're here! I'm doing a video tour of our wonderful apartment. How did, you, how did that work? What? Ah, <sighs> man, not modern technology. We couldn't figure out how to turn the lights on, so Miss Nikki ran downstairs to find out, and apparently we had to put our car key in this thing in order to turn on any lights. Well, well fantastic. There's the living room suite. Great view. Apparently, one of the greatest firework displays in Brisbane is it's, happening tomorrow night. It's an annual festival. An annual festival. Called River Fire. And apparently, it's, it's the, the, all the rooms are sold out for it, and we just happen to be here. These are our neighbors across the way. Probably a good 23 stories up. I'm not sure what kind of blackbirds they are. Obviously corvids. I can hear them from here. Can you hear them? in the bathroom and I could hear them all the way from in the bathroom with a fan on and everything I could hear their, crow their crowing um, but their sound is very distinctly different from the American common raven so I'm just going to look it up and see what species is native to this area of Australia they they look a little smaller than the common raven I can't really tell from this distance but when they were flying that's what was really distinct looking about them And show how far away they were. Great example of urban adaptation. First wildlife I see in Australia. Some sort of black corvid relative to our raven. There we are. Flying right into the wind, not really making much progress. This is the plub mass plover? Yeah. 
And you said that these guys in they have they secrete a venom underneath their wings. Yeah, they got a, po a spur under their wings. A poisonous spur under the wings. And during mating season, they will aggressively attack anybody that gets close to them. Why they have eggs and chicks? Yeah. And what time of year is the breeding season for them? I think September onwards. Oh, so we better stay clear. <laughs> They'd be They're making really... noise right now if they were going to get us there. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Thank you, Laurie. I'm going to get parked. Okay, let's course. go park. <laughs> These are Corellas. Type of cockatoo. I need to get binoculars. <laughs> That's like gonna be like priority. Hey, uh, there's some lurkies. Nikki, so she can see this. We got black swan. He's just chilling. He's gonna bite you. He's all arched up. It's like, don't get close. Yeah, don't pet this one. It's not. It's not advisable. <laughs> ibis. It's an ibis. This is an ibis, or as Daniel told me, they call them bin chickens. Apparently, not a very favored bird but hey they're kind of cool looking different some sort of a crane-esque creature and then we have magpie geese magpie geese yeah they're almost the extinct because people used to shoot them and eat them the they black and white ones yeah magpie geese i can get why they're called that what colors are and they migrate do they yeah i like the little dome on their head <laughs> sorry guys we're not trying to chase you off i just want to get a look at, good look at you this is the cutest bird you'll see in all of Australia. Where? A willy wagtail. Come over here. See this little guy in the tree here? Where? So come back a little bit. Um, just here. I don't know where I'm looking. See right there, little black and white bird? Um, <gasps> there you are! They're called willy wagtails, and they'll actually just, uh, you'll see them while you're in Australia. They're so cute, how they are. I don't know if I can get on the video camera, but it's there. Aww. So, how, what's so cute about them? They just always dance around and they're like always shaking their tails. Aww, they dance okay. around and they mate for life too. Oh, do they? That's cool. Alright, this is a willy wagtail. Let's see if he dances for us. Can't keep up with you. <laughs> I see where they get their name from. They are cute. Crested pigeon. Tell me when you want to hear it fly. I want to hear it fly. Right. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, sorry, little pigeon. Some of them are really loud too. It squeaked a little bit. My dad always jokes says they need to oil their wings. <laughs> Crested pigeon. I didn't even know that existed. That's so cool looking. I'm like a really bad camera person. Here he is. Butcher bird, I've heard of them. They're called butcher birds for a reason, aren't they? Yeah, they, they kill, they're the ones that kill food parrots up north. Oh, I remember hearing about them. So obviously a carnivorous species. They used to kill my parrot. I had them in cages too little, so the parrots would just be up against the cage and next to the butcher would just fly on in there. Oh my gosh. So what like family are they in? They're like a... I'm not sure how they how would you classify them? I know, I'll look it up. I don't know. Finally, there we go. You're fine. I finally got a video shot of it for Nikki. Yep, there's a Swainson lorikeet. Commonly called a rainbow lorikeet. 
which I work with all the time at Turtle Bay, but I finally get one in the wild. Eating this in the flower blossoms. There's a whole bunch of them in the tree, but it's amazing how well they camouflage. I can barely see them. Eating moon flower blossoms of that tree. Doing what orchids do best.